paano ba makapunta sa langit? Ang akala ko dati, basta gumawa ka ng mabuti, linggo-linggo ka sumimba, at umanib ka sa isang relihiyon, ay eh magkakaroon ka na ng buhay na walang hanggan. Ngunit, naunawaan ko, sabi ng Biblia, na tayong lahat ay makasalanan. At bilang tayong makasalanan, may kabayaran yon ang pagpunta ng ating kaluluwa sa apoy ng impyerno. Pero hindi ganun kasama ang Diyos. Sabi ng John 3.16, sapagkat gay na lamang ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa sanlibutan, kaya ibinigay niya ang kanya nag-iisang buktong na isinilang anak na ang sino mang sumampalataya sa kanya ay hindi mapahamak kundi magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. Ngayon ko lang naunawaan na kailangan lang pala nating aminin na tayo ay makasalanan at manampalataya na si Kristo ang namatay para sa ating mga kasalanan at ipahayag mo sa iyong puso na siya ang iyong Panginoon at agapagligtas. At kung gagawin mo yan ang buong puso, magkakaroon ka ng buhay na walang hanggan. Amen. Hindi ka makatulog, no? Tara, pray tayo, samahan mo ko. Lord, maraming salamat, Lord God, sa maghapong nagdaan. Lord God, maraming salamat, Lord, sa mga blessings na binigay mo sa amin, Lord God. At ngayong gabi, I pray, Lord God, for that person on the other side of the screen who is praying with me right now, Panginoon. Na kung ano man yung nagpumipigil sa kanya, magkaroon ng mapayapang tulog, Lord God, kung stress man yan sa trabaho, sa pamilya, o sa mga balitang narinig niya, Panginoon. I pray, Lord God, na balutin mo siya with your peace that transcends all understanding, Lord God. And sa pagtulog namin ngayong gabi, Lord God, balutan mo kami, Lord God. Guard our hearts, Lord God, and our minds, Lord God, as we sleep tonight, Lord God. May we sleep tonight peacefully, Lord God, in your presence. In Jesus' name, Amen. Tara, tulog na tayo. God's time is perfect. And the reason you're watching this video is because God wants you to know that He loves you, that He desires a relationship with you. He hears your prayers. He wants to know you more. He wants you to humble yourself, repent from your sins, accept the gift of salvation. God wants to know you so much that He made the sacrifice. He sacrificed His Son, Jesus. The blood that Jesus shed connects us to God, gives us a way back into His holy presence. You guys accept that gift. Turn from your sins, repent. You guys live a life that is pleasing to God, a life filled with love and with selflessness and with giving and just encouragement. You guys, God wants to know you. Get to know God. Read your word. You guys pray. He wants to hear you. He hears your prayers. So my encouragement, you guys, is that if you're in a hard time, God didn't leave you. He didn't abandon you. He's not like our earthly fathers or the earthly people around us. He loves us and he's here. He hears your prayers and he wants to know you more. You guys, seek God. Kung talagang mahal mo si God at mahal mo yung tao sa paligid mo, ang utak mo lagi is to help these people to know the Word of God because that is the breath of God. That brings life. Kaya yung mga magulang, they say they love their children, but they do not even know the Word of God. They do not even help their three children to know God. You are not really loving them because there is no life that you are giving them. Puro lang salita na pagmamahal. Kaya ang daming magulang, they give what the children want, but they never gave what the children need. They need life. Man shall not live by bread alone, but with every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Now, when you say you don't have time to study the Word, to teach the Word, you, have don't, you don't have time to, to train and disciple your children and your wife, it only means you don't love enough. You're not watching this video by accident. God wants you to know that you are loved, you're cherished, you're not a waste of space, you are beautifully and wonderfully made, created in His image. He loves you so much that He went as far as sending His Son Jesus to die on a cross for your sins so that you could be saved. It doesn't matter how many bad things you have done, it doesn't matter how many bad thoughts you have had, God still stands with arms spread wide ready to embrace you as His. He loves you. He's got great things in store for you. You haven't went too far. Share this with someone today who just needs to know they haven't went too far. God still wants you. Be blessed. Yung iba sa Christian, they claim si Jesus, si Jesus, pero hindi na inaantay si Jesus. Ang inaantay lang yung sagot. Parang, oh, ito na yung kailangan mo. Yes! Hallelujah! Sabi ni Jesus, huy, liwan! Hindi kita kailangan. Ito na. Ang sabi kong problema sa trabaho. Iniwan mo ko eh. We desire the present, 
that we forgot that we have forgotten his presence. Hindi pa na maghintay. Normal ang maghintay. Nakita niya yan kay Adan. Nakita niya, naghintay siya bago siya hindi agad siya binigyan ng asawa. Tapos nakita niya kay Abraham. 25 years ang inintay niya bago nagkaanak. Ang tagal, no? 25 years. Lahat ng mga Christian na totoo, nag-iintay. Hanggang ngayon, ako rin may inintay. Kaya, don't forget this. Delay your want in this world to get what you really want from the Lord. Okay ba yan? Alam niyo kung bakit? Because we don't even know what we really want in life. Kasi gusto ko to, gusto ko to. Pag karoon na karoon ka na, hindi pala to gusto ko. Jesus, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm lost, and I need you to come find me. I've wasted all my strength running from you, and I have none left to make it back home. My heart has become a wasteland, and the things of this world have turned my soul into a desert. But you are the fountain that never runs dry. You are a wellspring of life. Fill me up again. Breathe life into these weary bones. I've walked the road of selfishness, and it's led me to this valley of death. I've sinned, and I'm so sorry. I know you love me and forgive me, so please, Jesus, resurrect me, that I may live again, this time for you. I'm reaching out. Carry me home, back to the place where I've always belonged, with you. Yung plano ng Diyos mangyayari yan. But He wants you to be part of His plan. He wants you to experience the joy of being part of His plan. Kasi gusto mo ba ng best niya? Then be part of His plan. God called me into the ministry. Sumunod ka sa akin, Lord, naman, ayoko niyan. Kawawa ang mga pastor, patay gutom niyan, ayoko niyan. Sumunod, anong sabi ng Lord? O sige, ayaw mo, wag mo. I can, I want you, I need you, but I can do this without you. Ganda plano ng Diyos. Isipin niyo, sino ako para magsagta sa inyo, dating tricycle driver? Dating jaryo bote? Ang alam ko lang, di bali, ayaman din ako. So, magkaroon ng bahay at sasakyan. Pero pangarap ng Diyos, ang lit ng pangarap mo, anak. Ang pangarap ko sa iyo ay mayroon pang walang hanggang epekto. Mga buhay na nababago dahil sa mensaheng ibibigay mo na galing sa akin. <laughs>